Copying of any Nintendo game is illegal and is strictly prohibited by domestic and international intellectual property laws. Backup or archival copies are not authorized and are not necessary to protect your software. Violators will be persecuted. Hello and welcome. I find Nintendo's warning about backing up DS games quite funny. Though Nintendo claims that they are not necessary, from my personal experience, I beg to differ. Out of all of my years of buying and selling used games for both selling online and for my own personal collections, the top two formats which I can expect to have issues either losing my software or having issues just playing it in general were games on discs like the PSP or on CDs or DVDs and the Nintendo DS game cards. These game cards are shockingly more fragile than you would expect and today I want to show you how to back them up on both an original Nintendo DS and the Nintendo DSi. Right after this message from this video's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by 16-Bit Games. 16-Bit Games offer a variety of games on both Android and iOS. You can play them for free and if you like them, you can buy them completely ad-free on both platforms. If you are interested or want to support the channel, why not check out our games today from the links in the description below. As always, when backing up your games, please keep in mind to only back up the games you actually own in your hands. These backups are not a free tool to copy and share your games with everyone else because that is illegal and it is considered piracy. If you want to learn more, please watch my video or extra credits video about the matter. Link will be provided below. Now, there are three ways to back up a DS game on a DS compatible system. You can do it with a 3DS using custom firmware installed. I already made a video detailing how to back up both DS and 3DS games in this matter, so check that guide out if you want to see that. You can also back up your DS games with a DSi and custom firmware installed. We'll be looking at how to do that today. And if you want to know how to install custom firmware on your DSi, we also have a video for that too. And finally, if you don't want to install custom firmware on your DSs, but you have yourself something like an R4 flash card, you can always use an original DS or DS Lite to back them up. To start, we're going to use the R4 enabled Nintendo DS consoles with no custom firmware at all. There are two ways of backing up your DS games on an original system, and today I'm going to be showing you how to back them up with the very slow NDS backup tool, Wi-Fi, since that's going to be the most accessible method to back up your DS games on an original system. But keep in mind, you will need to connect your DS to Wi-Fi, and I can't recommend that practice nowadays, but if you must do it, I do have a video on the channel to how to connect your DS to Wi-Fi, so check that out before committing to doing this as it is, in, as it is a very intensive process. I'll have a playlist uh, down below for all the guides for uh, the DS consoles if you want to follow along. So to back up your games with the NDS backup tool, what you'll need is a PC running an FTP server, your DS, a WEP enabled Wi-Fi router, and the R4 flash cart. All you need to do is to set up your PC to be visible on the network with no firewall and to start the FTP server. Take the settings that you've configured your FTP server to run, save them in the included text file with the download, put that all onto your R4 card, boot your DS, launch the application, pray that you can connect to the Wi-Fi, hope that when you swap the game cards nothing happens, and Muresto, you're backing up your games at the magical 1 to 5 kilobits per second. Unless you're absolutely desperate or want to test your patience or just want to see what backing up game cards was like back in the day, this is not my recommended method since it's just going to be a lot easier to get your hands on a DSi and back your game cards up with this or get your hands on a 3DS, which you know, probably would recommend doing anyways. So switching gears, let's actually back up the games in the proper, faster method with Godmo 9i on a DSi. 
Now you are going to need to install custom firmware and unlaunch on your DSi as Godmo9 I won't have access to the card slot without it. So follow my guide for that. But once the DSi has unlaunched installed on it, turn off the DSi, take out the SD card, download on Godmo9 I from the GitHub page link below, and move the DSi file to your SD card. Then just boot your DSi, launch Godmo9 I9 from the SD card. And when it's loaded, you'll see the game card as an option. Select it and dump its contents to the SD card. Wait a few minutes and you're good to go. It's shocking how easy it is to dump a DSi, DS game with a DSi. And the same can be said about the 3DS too. When you're done, you can just go into the Godmo 9 output folder and play the game to see if everything is fine. It's shocking how much better a DSi is for backing up a game. I would not recommend going back to the original DS unless you had your hands on a GTA flashcard. But anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have yourself a good day. And as always, take care.